So yeah, I think Talon are really coming in with something special here uh, for Bet Boom. Maybe it's a little bit more, you know, tried and true for them, standard stuff. Here on Tidehunter, I think this hero has fallen off a bit, but he's really good at this one. If you want to call count that, it was a little bit of a connection, but... Well, down bottom, a little bit better spell accuracy as Ollie maybe going to give it up. And yes, indeed, first blood drawn by save on that Muerta. It was just a matter of time, right? It feels like they're Very putting unusual. more emphasis right there. You saw the rotation over um, to try and pressure the Spectre a little bit. But as you're saying, I mean, Spectre's still going to get her farm, although this could be good. Not going to get it. Nightfall not there with the stun. They had the follow up. So easily getting okay. Oh. Well, a lot more people show up and Spectre is suddenly there right on top of Nightfall. But look at the turn! Destroys him. Makoto shows up a bit late, still manages to find one kill pure, chasing in, has Ravage at the ready. Bet Boom brought everybody. Yep. Talon also trying brought to get out with jabs, <laughs> doesn't quite have the mana Sakuchi to escape. Oh! Connection. Save finds him from downtown and Oh, well, bet boom, they brought more. Well, we've seen Muertas take different approaches uh, as position fours, whether they take that or not. Obviously, one of the big parts of Pierce the Veil is also the fact that it's a basic dispel, which has a little bit of a use here against the current but it slows. This is going to be the nice turnaround. Did he get the time lapse off, though? Oh, and a one second cooldown. That was really unfortunate. Oh, literally. He played that really well, too, running back outside of the silence range of the ghosts. But, I mean, this is the thing, is that if you're not making stacks, you have to make moves like this yeah. as Bet Boom. And we'll see if it ends up paying off, because it looks like Talon want to contest this tower. The roll through, kick back. They already get the Ice Blast on him. And, well, that is the problem. You think you're tanky until you get kicked back in the face. The other thing that I'm just thinking about is that you've got this Aghanim Scepter now done on Dazzle. It feels as if Talon are just comfortable sitting back, getting their farm on a little bit. But at some point, I mean, this is the type of play that's going to be scary. GPK rolled upon, silence, oh, that's back into the ice blast. That oh, is not no. the way they wanted it. GPK will get the grave off, but the DOT coming through, they're going to end up losing at least Q. But with everybody else falling, I mean, it's way too much magic damage. And you saw that too, right? Like they're running down, they see the 23 Savages down there at that point at like 800 health, and they just can't get onto them. You don't have this global presence. Jabs, runs into Toronto, Tokyo. They come through the gate. Suddenly Spectre is back in the midst of all of them, haunts away, gets out of trouble, save, gonna pop Pierce the Veil, looking for a few more hits. After already losing the Venge, they're gonna lose the Muerta too. Talon are all over Bet Boom right now, one step ahead. Five on five engagement where everybody's in a good position, chain their spells together and take advantage of the Ravage. As long as it skirmishes, which is such an insane lineup for this style Ooh. of play. Jump in, caught though. And that, that is, is what one. they needed. That, that's Blink Dagger on Nightfall, so yeah. well played. That is a huge kill. I, I think I saw a little part of your soul just leave your body there. <laughs> You're okay. No, it's good. <laughs> Everyone gets to be a core nowadays. Cool. Except Toronto Tokyo. He does not get to be. Uh, I mean, maybe he'll get, you know. Now at least look broke as a joke. 23 Savage underneath the tower. Can they get there to help in time? Jump forward, half HP, blade mail out. Nightfall oh. dying to the blade mail. And now the Ravage, that will be enough to get the kill. Beard, jabs, backing out. Toronto, Tokyo, he's going to be the first one dead on Bet Boom. Can they find any more? Makoto onto Pure. Still looking for the turn, though. The jump in. Nightfall destroys him. Just like that, he falls. They did not anticipate Nightfall coming back into this fight. Oh boy, they're strong. Yeah, and you could, it, okay, hang on. Is this even over? Pure? I mean, Ollie, stay still. It's fine. They won't see. Oh, no. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, Jabs got involved, too. Wait, he went back in? Jabs caught in trouble, trying to escape. They know he's up here. Now, being invisible is really good, though. It is very strong, but the oh. dead shot fear DOT. It's not there. Jabs barely surviving. All right. That boom have bigger plans. This is Dazzle is so good for the two. Very, very nice. Ollie not opting to throw any ice blast down that direction. But yeah, this was always going to be a, uh, a just that they gave away. Can they get the timing right? Oh, 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 oh. you're crazy. You're crazy. What are you doing? But they get oh, the reality out. Oh, wow. I love that they tried that, though.
11 to 10. Now for something here, GPK. Yep. Bounty or uh, Wisdom Rune in 10 seconds, so. Right on top of this Dazzle, waiting for him to step a little bit out of position. Do need to be careful. They don't have jabs. Pure is here too. 23 Savage gets hit. The Blade Mail, look at the damage out onto him, but he's surviving. Immediately turns. He's still down low. That's going to be one dead. Can they find any more? Silence for a long time on the queue. He's hexed after. GPK down to about half HP as Weaver continues the chase. So will Q. Continue to throw out the Magnetize, the Force Forward, and he goes down one time. Could not manage to get off the Shallow Grave, but Nightfall is just slapping away at the rest of these heroes. Three dead for only one. Picked the wrong fight. So essentially, it, it kind of was two for three, but obviously GPK doesn't truly die there. Um, pretty close fight. I'm, I'm really surprised that 23 didn't just get blown up there. Right, oh, The yeah. way that fight started, it looked like he wasn't even going to press a button, but... Kodo. Dead in the water, Nightfall waiting, jumps, stun, and more than enough for the finish. That's a minute gone without a buyback. Yeah, that's a good kill. Probably not getting the tier two off of it though with the glyph coming out and heroes respawning, but... Talon, are they gonna realize what's happening? Roche is about to fall, and they are gonna get it for themselves. Do they take the fight after? You kinda wonder if they might just try and sneak it away. I mean, it's a crazy move to do that. See that it's in there. What if you... What if you bait your Weaver, oh. and then you enchant Remnant him, kick him away, and then he can, you know, play the fight? Chance. Nightfall walks high ground. They see him right at the start. They're going to blow him up. They get everything off. The grave is going to be there, but can they break the CP? Nightfall manages, no, to get out. He is gone. Well, we said you couldn't kill the Sven if he just stands there, you do. A run through, triple kill for 23. Waiting the whole fight, and it was perfect. In a lot of situations there, you get graved by Dazzle, you pop all your stuff, and you heal to full. Just not an option. Uh, tries to panic TP out. This is genuinely an impossible play, but yeah, they were not expecting this vision. There's this one asterisk to him, despite being so strong. Sometimes he's susceptibly, like, he's just surprisingly weak. You're just susceptible to specific things in this late game, and Ice Blast is one of those. Okay, Shackle. And GPK, he's oh, found he's the Mindbreaker. It is oh, devastating. Boy. Marvelous play from 23 and Makoto. It's just too easy. Yeah, this is going south really fast for Betboom. They lost like 15,000 gold in three minutes. There's just too many things that can kill you off. But during BKB, you can have some serious impact. Uh, I think the dream for him is obviously to try to kill supports. Um, open up the fight. Kind of the name of the game for both teams here. As the items keep. That's the hex reveal. In. Jumps. How much can they do to Q? He pops the BKB, rolls away, and now 23 Savage, he decides to go in. He sees okay. the Sven, so Unseen. you know what the drill is. Nightfall, Ice Blast, it's a good one! No, not quite gonna connect, and now they have to back out. That is Cassius Crystal I've ever heard. Hail Force, Ravage, got him! They have an Enchant Remnant still if they want to get in range, and they do oh. it! Nice play by Q, but it's not, not gonna matter. He does not have enough to kick him out after. Makoto tries to TP, but they got way too much damage! The fight was not the way Talon wanted it. And they're gonna end up losing three. Bet boom, they've already taken all the tier twos. They're thinking about going for the tier fours. Bet boom, off of one good fight. What's gonna be the answer here? Alan, they're not buying back on any of their heroes yet. Still 30 seconds until Spectre. The other two have a buyback on one. That's the Earth Spirit. Jab's gonna time lapse back to get away. Now going for some more right clicks. Bet boom, you have to make a decision. Are you in? Are you out? Gonna risk it. Are you going for the all in play? They have them all back on the rest of them. That's another tier four tower going down. The jump forward, the stun, he's gone. Weaver already out, but now focusing. They don't have creeps. Jabs cut the creep wave. They're hitting it, but there's nothing happening. Bet boom, where are your creeps? As they chase, they hunt. Nightfall is gonna fall. And now looking for more. Spectre's about to come back up. Betboom have to get away. The hunt is there. If Betboom knew about the creeps, they could have done it. But instead, it's Talon that stand tall. Man, that is such such a crucial little detail from Jabs there, right? You spent two buybacks on cores here for Talon, and Betboom have all theirs. Well, 50 seconds without the Sven, and they're hitting this he tier just three BKB tower. nothing. Oh, uh, that? He wanted to Manta, a little bit of a myth click there. Yeah. But at the very least, one of them will get a second life here. Looks like that will be gifted to Mikoto. I suppose Jabs might take the cheese. Aghanim Scepter, is it going to be the Weaver one? We talked about it as an option. They have the most insane saves in Dota, right? They have Enchant yes. Remnant and Weaver Ags.
And this is a Weaver Axe also that has a Swift Blink, because why not? Yep. Look, look at this. They, they scan. They know that they're coming in. They're trying to bait him out. They got him hexed. They got him control. But the time lapse, he didn't get it. He didn't get it off in time. He has buyback, though. The haunt comes back in. Q trying to roll away. The control there on the Nightfall. Can they bring him down? They will. Makoto focus fires one. Now on to save. Trying to find the back lines. They get GPK. Didn't get anything off. Toronto Tokyo is dead. They're going to also lose the Muerta. That is four dead. Muerta the only one without buyback. And back down the lanes they go. Pure. <laughs> Just please leave me alone. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. But it's not going to be the case anymore if that boom stay in this, which it looks like they will. Just thinking about what could have been again for Bet Boom, that opportunity that they had. And it's going to give him an axe that he probably isn't going to use for anything. But hey, actually, oh. I think, yeah, I was just going to say, his okay. axe is so unimportant in this game. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to see shit here, man. Yep. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't think either team does either. Oh, okay. Bit of damage. Yeah, Book of the Dead. Emphasis on bit. Okay, here we get a little bit of commitment. Makoto stun! No! The camp force! He can't hit him! Oh, that's well, only one minute. Three, Spectre, 23 Savage! Excuse me? What? Not how they drew it up. I'll say that. Not how they drew it up. ED, Nightfall. Needs God's strength. Oh, he is strong. All it would take was a swipe or two, and whoever he's hitting is going to be in the dirt. Jump in. They find one. Ollie, they got him caught, but the hex, the turn. Got him under control. Finding Q, the jump through. Toronto Tokyo starts the ball. 23 Savage is in. After that buyback, he's going to try and retreat. Pure is absolutely ripped through. Dazzle gone. And Nightfall just trying to back out. Doesn't have anywhere to go at all. Q right on top of him. Swap to try and escape. Nightfall still managing to just barely get out of there. The silence running, hiding. Get out of there, buddy. Nightfall, but right on top of him his jabs they bring down the Sven and in the end Talon just a bit too strong that was a, not a risk they had to take but they felt very confident that they had the information that they needed and well, it's still, got a lot out of it it still could be game losing depending upon what happens in the True. next couple of minutes looking for Makoto though the Lincoln Sphere popped was looking for the swap didn't quite get it though they reapplied with a little bit of help from their friends throwing out these books of the dead Pure steps in, BKB, focus fire one. Do they have enough to take him down? Makoto, not quite going to get it, but the jump in, they find this Earth, Earth Spirit. Ravage out, now trying to hit him. Aeon disc proc, the swap back, gets him in. Jabs, finding the back line on a GPK, tries to run away. Time lapse to get out of there. They got the spend buyback, that's what they wanted. And now they get out. I mean, there's nothing more to farm it's for. <laughs> bad necessarily, but it's not really improving your chances of winning by a meaningful amount. I think. Poking these barracks with Ex Machina, BKB, and Focus Fire is probably the way to go. There's no glyph. Pop one. Oh, they kicked it in. out. That's a big statue. That's what they needed. Catching on to Pure. Down low, but the swap long range. Pure tries to back out. Does he have anything else left in the tank? The Ice Blast is there, but Pure lives through it all. It is going to be Toronto Tokyo going down, but no, Makoto jumps in, takes down the big old watermelon. And Bet Boom now on the back foot. No heroes really left with buybacks at this stage of the game. Magnetize is going to do some damage, but this is Mega Creeps. Uh, you had the Ice Blast fly over two heroes, including the Sven, so he was clipped by it, so he couldn't heal. They did not fancy their chances there to just finish it off. Looks like they're still just going to go now. Round two, though, with the bigger creeps coming in. They're doing it. The dead. This is really hard to deal with. Tier four towers are falling. GPK, he gets jumped on. Can he survive through this? No, they take down the Dazzle. They're going to take down more. Nightfall, nowhere left to go. And GG is called Talon. They managed to eke one away. What a performance. And it, I mean, obviously, this game was full of all sorts of 
you know, moments that could have gone differently or whatnot. But what it really boils down to when you look at it, right, is do you want to play like this against talent? Right. <laughs> it, I, I don't know when I look at Bedboom's draft is if their mindset was we are going to hit a mid-game power spike and we're just going to go and end it against the Spectre and not get to this point. But whatever their plan was, they didn't manage. And once we got to this super late game, talent, they're feeling themselves. They have a lineup that thrives under these circumstances. Boom. it was so hard post that 40-minute mark to string together anything. Well, and I think back to, I don't remember if it was this morning when we were talking about Bet Boom on the panel or it was just recently, but there was this talk about like feeling as if this team is most comfortable when they can just sit back and farm on Bet Boom. But to me, they look the most effective when they're on these carries that want to hit buildings, when they're on the Lunas, the Terra Blades, that type of hero that wants to play a little bit faster. Um, and Talon, of course. I mean, they're comfortable any time to <laughs> get to the 60-minute <laughs> mark. Um, what a freaking game, though. Yeah, that was, that? that was a lot of fun. And Okay, it's one thing to get a Pudge pick, and you're like, oh, wow, they picked Pudge. And then the immediate response is Ricky. The crowd pleaser always there. Pudge, Marcy, Ricky. We fell into a different patch. I don't know what's yeah. going on. I, uh, I have never felt more like a, a pub game draft than this one. Oh, that got really red. Somebody must have. Oh, no. <laughs> First blood given up. Bet boom, <laughs> lose their muerta. That's all I wanted in my TI main stage. <laughs> I just wanted to play Ricky Punch. Oh, man. Yeah, that's going to be interesting to see. So to unpack a little bit about the laning stage here. Um, or oh, hang on. Is he going to go so down? A couple more hits in yeah. trouble and... 23 Savage, off to a hot start. Um, so perhaps that is a part of the logic here, was that they were expecting a Core Willow. Um, but I mean, you say that, they're off to a good start. Top on the Willow, Marcy lanes. Absolutely. And I like this little play that we've been seeing. The the dispose in the brim. Oh my He's God. really fat, so he walked through another one. And they managed to get another kill onto Pure. That is not the way he wanted this to go. Nothing gained out of that Radiant's movement yet. They are still hanging around that area, though. And instead, the Radiant's wraparound is going up top. Kodo, Yeah, this one's going to be less expected, I think. Diving this tier one tower this early. Oh, and then pulls him back into the cloud. That's really nice. Didn't quite get the Bramble connection, but save, trying to escape, needs another hit. 23 Savage in very far, and now Pure right on top of him. They're trying to buy some time. The hook, it does land. 23 gets lifted up. Nice tornado, and Ollie also going to fall. GPK with the clutch rotation is down bottom. They're chasing Jabs. Tombstone on him. Starbreaker hits. Jabs wanting to make his way through the gate to escape. Still has stick charges as they pull him back in with the fear. Jabs, hammer, jumps away. Does he get out of there? 18 HP and he's out. Oh, no. Never mind. <laughs> he got path. I want to say overall in... Quite a few of Betboom's games as of as of late. GPK has not necessarily been off to the hottest of starts. This is a good one for him. So the Invoker having a great start here. He shows up and Pure didn't stand a chance. They brought in a lot of people for that kill and save trying to escape. Throw out the terrorize. He's still running that direction. So that won't actually help. Yeah. I would imagine it stays right on top, but we'll so see. So if you sure. Bedlam Ricky and he jumps into Dawn and Dawn ults globally. <laughs> Onto an entry, <laughs> right? Well, right. <laughs> well, for now, uh, Bet Boom, they're going to relocate and set up for the kill onto Jabs. Nice but stack of flesh heap there for sure. That should set up for the mid tower going down, though. Yeah, Hugh takes that one away. Uh, Dawn does have Solar Guardian back up again, and Makoto. He, they see this. He jumps, and there it is. Dawnbreaker ultimate right away. Do they have enough to keep him alive? No. It is so difficult to protect this against this. Mm. So there hasn't really been much initiative taken by Bet Boom. He's about to show on the mid wave with the rest of Talon heading over this direction. Just, oh no. You. Smoke, save, they are on him right away. Throne Tokyo already drops down the tombstone. Maybe this could actually work for them with the Dawnbreaker ultimate. Now the tornado comes out. Q, they explode! That was the fight that Bet Boom needed, and the hook back in finds jabs. Perfect for that Bet Boom. That is so huge for Bet Boom. That's a 3,000 net worth swing right there. They activate their lineup a lot. This is going to be Pudge Ags. I. I don't know if Jabs had ulti on cooldown or, or if he thought they were going to kill the IO without it, but essentially he waited too long. Oh. That ended up costing him. That's another one here. Finding 23 Savage. Terrorize. It's not happening. Bet boom. 
They turn something into nothing, or rather flip that around. <laughs> <laughs> it's Talon that's doing the other one. 2600 gold swing throughout the course of these couple of minutes here. Wait, is save dead? Uh, suddenly, all he shows up and it's going to find the finish on to save. Wait, Makoto's here too. Hold on, GPK, maybe going to try and turn this. They get the disarm, but it's not enough. Now he has to run. Maybe it was something. In it. I don't know. That was the last time in this game that they're going to be able to pull this combo off because it's going to be in 100 gold. And then this play doesn't exist anymore. Up top, finding jabs, relocate in. Got him there, gets bit. Do they have enough? Terrorize out, jabs! He lives for a moment! Solar Guardian with the tornado for the lift up. That's enough for the kill. Makoto plays cleanup. That's two dead for the price of one. GPK able to escape. And with Pierce the Veil, this will happen. Pierce the Veil of equity. Yeah, there, there's oh, no hey, answer. Buddy. I mean, Nightfall is going to be a problem. Shot goes out. They know they're over there. In some good vision. Sunstrike hits them. Does not know it as there's still smoke. Now smoke breaks. GPK is there. He reveals them. Pure walks up there. The hook, it's going to connect. On to 23. Jabs runs right into the midst of all of them. But then the jump from Ollie. Turns, wants to do what damage they can. Makoto finds one, but it's not on the IO. Nonetheless, they did manage to kill off the Pudge. Dead for a minute. Bet Boom, what do you have left in the tank? And they even did a pretty good save there. That was a very quick tombstone save onto the to the Pudge, but they're just destroying the Tombstone with the support Marcy ult. Makoto away from the rest of his team. The Dawn oh Breaker ult, it comes down. He's able to jump away. Three shot. Nightfall just evaporated one. Now feared in trouble. Has to back out of there, even disposing to try and get a little bit of extra separation. All right, Nightfall hits hard. Three Savage, going to get caught by the Decay. Low on mana. They get some vision. Makoto trying to find the backlight. Can they kill him off? Yes. They take down the Muerta. Can they get any more? Toronto, Tokyo, they run the 23 Savage and the relocate gets them out. GPK found, they run right into it, but nothing left in the tank to break the TP. That is such an unexpected kill for Nightfall though. It was Ench and Ricky just combining. He was next to his IO and still couldn't be saved. What a fight. It's really well done with the Ench. 2,600 damage done in just a second. On the jabs, bang, 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 bang. <laughs> He's just gone. Definitely has what he wants to fight. Together, buddy heading to the same area where they know Roche could respawn soon. Oh, they're moving right into position. Q is going to be the first point of contact. Oh, jump, hook. Oh, he didn't be in time. Wow. Caught him completely. completely off guard. 23 Savage is kind of in no man's land here, too. The tornado is actually going to hit him. Makoto looking for a back line to jump at, and BKB, they chase forward, want to find the kill onto him, and meanwhile, they go for the Dawnbreaker ultimate. Ends up pulling himself away. Dying is gone. Can they get any more? Ollie's starting to fall. Nightfall chasing a couple more hits. It's enough. Sunstrike follow-up. 23 Savage is in trouble. Pure caught him with that one. Makoto trying to find another target, but he's not able to bring down GPK. The Sprank away. 23 Savage still living through this. Goes back into the Shadow Realm and is actually living through it. The Hurricane Pike in the separation. That's out of there. Talon are somehow making this fight work for themselves. As save is chased, save is gone. There will be no relocate out of this. Can they find any more? Doesn't quite look like it. How did that go so well for Talon? Radiance. As Roche will be claimed. Now, who do you give the axe to? Makoto is a candidate here. He will not get it. They will put it on jabs. Now Willow also has Wind Waker, so she can save another target Yeah. at this point. Or herself, I yeah, mean, either I, way. I'm not sure she's going to need it on herself, That's to be fair. honest, with how it's gone so far. Here comes the artillery, long range, nice hook! Oh, they get it, a freebie! Oh, that's the Aegis out the window for nothing! Did they get anything else? Terrorize waiting for the right moment, BKB finds him, immediately bitten, but the Dawnbreaker ultimate, it's healing Makoto so much! They just get away for free, but oh. Jab's not going to be so lucky. They managed to get one out of that along with the Aegis. They have Vision down. Makoto, does he step within sentry range? He's right there. They see him. Ooh, just a little difference away from there. White going to fall into range. 
Batboom with a clear positional advantage here, though. Getting through the gate gives them the they high ground. Makoto, they got him! Disarm! Chase him! Can they get any more? The Hex already can join! Roach runs through two! Nightfall now wants to chase Pure. Looking right on top of one. 23 Savage. He's going for the Wind Waker. Walk away. Now refresh onto Nightfall. Wants to chase. Jabs is there. That's the buyback and the run into the fight. Oh, hook. Oh. That would have been a nice one to get, but... I don't know if that would have been good for him. It's <laughs> good not point. sure. I mean, Nightfall still does have the reinitiation if he wants it. Has Pierce the Veil and BKB ready. Toronto Tokyo gets hit. Bill backs away. He's rooted. The jump board, they oh, fly on Where's the grab ally? There's nothing. The buyback, it comes out. They got to retreat, though. Bet Boom need to wait and buy time for the rest of their team to get up close and personal. They blink back after eating one. Toronto Tokyo going to TP to the outpost. It's a long outpost TP, though. Toronto Tokyo is going to get caught. He couldn't grab his ally. Oh, man. They will give Talon an advantage here. Refresher shard now. Do you put it on the Dawn or do you put it on the Ricky? Question. Mirror Shield is so good against Pudge, too, on jabs, right? Like. You have so much freedom when you jump in on this dawn. Three. This one melee creep trying to get vision. Oh, oh, they got him again. Do they have anything to follow it up? Does not appear so. A dead shot. Still sitting with the Lincolns right on top. Maybe go for the easier target. Q is there. Good jump if they want. Hook not nearly where they needed it to be. Now the tornado, but then another walk away. And now they step forward. The hex connects Makoto. They back out. Pure low, pure in trouble, dead. Does have buyback. They're going to find anything else. Nightfall starts spraying. He popped this old NBKB there, so that's one down. Has to swap out the Mjolnir and get Refresher ready. Still just cannot touch 23 Savage. Do not have an angle on this guy. Playing it so safe and still sitting pretty with everything. Four yeah. staffs forward. Again, Wind Waker pulls him back, and now the Tornado. They are not buying back on Pudge, though, so there's no chance for a kill. So, dealing some more damage. The Hex is there. They bring him down low. Toronto Tokyo in the grave. Talon, they've gotten to what feels like an unbeatable point now. And still 50 seconds left on this Pudge. He buys back at this point. GPK, there's the Tornado lift up. Toronto Tokyo wants to find him. But the Wind Waker, the walk away, he's back in the Shadow Realm. There's no point to hit this guy. The hook not going to connect. And Talon just sitting pretty right outside the base saying, come hit me, I dare ya. Does he managed to find this hook. Toronto Tokyo right in front of him. No, the Wind Waker away. The hook not going to connect. Like, what more can you possibly want for a safe siege, except an Aegis? Tornado. Oh. They hexed him, but he got Worm off. Okay, he, now he runs away. It's X Machina for the Pudge. So they managed to get a couple of items while this is going on. Jabs jumps forward, finds it. Toronto Tokyo in trouble, ends up being brought down. That's Before, a dieback. Looking for something, anything. Can they connect onto him? Jabs again gets saved by no! 23 Savage! He went to save Jabs! And now he gets caught. Wait, 23 Savage ball back. If he dies again, that could be it. Jab, sun strike, almost dead, he falls. Disarm onto Q. Signs of life in what felt like a hellscape that was the Radiant base. Trying to save Jabs. He will buy back, though. They know they have a five on four. This is quite aggressive. Yeah, it very much is. I mean, uh, again, an, an interesting decision to go in at this point. Arm onto all of them. Looks for the hook, finds him. Now tries to back out. And with the Dawnbreaker ultimate, it's scary. Makoto chasing, hunting. Nightfall gets stunned. Is it going to be long enough to rage? Oh, the damage coming out from Nightfall. It's so strong. Already a couple gone. Jabs doesn't have buyback. Throws out the terrorize. The connection is there. Pure needs to back out, wanting to bring down anybody. As they retreat, GPK still on the hunt. The hex, he immediately found him. GPK is pissed. He wants more. Can they find him? Tornado, lift up. I'm not done with you yet. Get back over here. The Hex comes out. But do they have friends? Can they get there in time? Slow down. Hook, not going to be on the mark. Nightfall chasing. Has a dead shot ready. But they don't want to chase out of the base. Oh, wait, Roche. Nightfall goes for it. Okay. Yeah, this is just a clean. 
There's no way you get here. It's, it's actually just insane at once. Oh, man. Uh, Nightfall up front and center. Okay. Which is tough because Pudge has the Aegis. Um, yeah. Because he doesn't have buyback. You have Undyne right behind him. Willow is ta ta tagged onto him there. And then you get the double hit because Willow's 25. But no! Instead, just step up and that's already a tier 3 tower gone. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. The hook, the connection. Q, he's in trouble! Oh, Bed Boom, have you actually done it? There's a buyback. This is one of the two heroes that still have one. That went way better than I expected on the first high ground. That's quite inspiring, honestly, for Bed Boom to see this happening. Okay. I fall, I fall, I fall. Get out of there, but the cheese, the save come out from the aisle. Pure, he's in no man's land. One more damage damage. Look at the desolator. The hits coming in from the aisle. GPK comes out, goes for the disarm, and then the back away. Pudge, back alive again, needs to BKB, needs to escape. The tricks of the trade, chasing, they're waiting for Makoto, wants his moment, and they find him! Is it gonna be enough damage? Yes! They take down Makoto! Can they get any more, though? Nightfall, the hook, again, Pure, he's on his man, can they bring down this Willow? Goes for the to walk away, and the damage coming out, the Io is doing so much of it! Save and Nightfall doing it all together, but they managed to kill off that Muerta. Now the buyback looks for more Toronto Tokyo with his axe. He's so freaking tanky on this Undyne. 10,000, 10,000 HP on Toronto Tokyo. Looking for more. Bet boom. They're going to claim the game. How do you do that? How? How? You were right, Gabe. It didn't reach 70 minutes. It was close. It was very, very close. Holy shit. I actually can't believe Bedroom just ended it like that. Given how difficult the how? fights looked in their own base, they just, I mean, at some point you just go for it, right? They have the advantage of the Aegis and Cheese there, and they just run in, pop all their stuff, and hope that Talon make a mistake and get caught, and they did. Mikoto, the first one to play a little over aggressive there. Jumping in and getting Hex and killed. No buyback on him. Jabs as well as 23. One after the other, they fall without that buyback. But man, that's... Okay, I'll be honest with you. That's a difficult one to recover from from oh, Talon. Oh, yeah. Because you felt like this was in the bag, right? Oh, it, absolutely. You were pushing. You were so confident that you bought back three cores to try to right. end the game. You didn't need to buy those heroes back. You had all three waves in the enemy base. So a little bit of maybe getting ahead of themselves and... I don't know, the pressure of the stage, a little bit of panic. And now you have to, after that crazy game. The Tusk is playing in your lane against PL. Tough ask, right? Mid lane, when Storm gets six, probably also kind of tricky to kill. Maybe top? I don't know. Disrupt into Sunstrike combo with more waveform? I mean, yeah, it definitely feels like it's playing more for that late game scenario. Maybe like after a oh, disruption or something. And well, Toronto Tokyo does take a lot of damage there. And with the hits coming in, well, just like that, Jabs manages to get involved and get a kill. Q, he's going to pay the price. Falls after. As we all expected, offlane invoker kills Ench. Oh. And at five in his lane. <laughs> well, maybe he's in some more trouble with oh, the creep right is. in front. PL. I think back to the days when it used to be PL is the answer to invoker out of the mid lane. True, actually. That's, damn, that's some old school knowledge right there. That, I would have not thought of that matchup, actually. That's true. Okay, he's in no man's land, but he turns to fight in Toronto, Tokyo right there. Sunstrike coming in for the help. Another couple of hits. GPK gets the kill onto Q, but the miss uphill. Makoto can't quite finish the job. Hey, GPK, eat some tangos. <laughs> they just filled up his entire backpack with tangos in half a second. Toronto gave him one, Save gave him two, and left. Why you gotta call me out like that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you uh, if you know what's coming next, yeah, I have a business proposal for you. <laughs> okay. If you can predict RNG, oh, Jabs is in big ass trouble here. No Wex point, just getting cycloned or rather, hurricaned into the PL. About to get a bash. All right. <laughs> no, not quite. Trouble. Mining light pushback, pure, still hurting as the hits come through. Oh, the tower, the tower shot. All oh, raindrop. Not enough. No survives. Ball. Okay, that will be the rundown. You get some. And, oh, double wisdom runes got by Talon. Makoto got in and snuck one. The storm mid is doing great against the puck. PL has 20 denies, by the way. Yikes. That is quite unusual. They're going to try to turn this into something, though. Can they do enough damage? Moving forward. Will the dodge one sun strike hits? 
All right, Jab's been getting the practice in on this offlane invoker. I think his best bet there was to just snap the coil instantly. And I, I just want to, I feel like we didn't cover this, but this hero, uh, the PL on Nightfall is, I want to say the hero that he made a name for himself with. Uh, we, we've talked about player hero combinations. Hang on, let's see if he actually survives this. Oh. We'll snap it instantly this time. Breaks, chase, sunstrike out. Is it enough? Doppelganger gets out of there, but the Shadow Demon ulti on top. Will it be enough to make him pop? Not quite. 50 HP. Ollie going to disrupt himself, trying to stay alive. Pure getting hit. Q also dropping lower and lower. So Q is going to die. Pure barely surviving. Both heroes getting away on oh, nothing at 23 Savage. He switches over. Almost got that Nether Strike off, continuing to run in. 23 chasing, a couple more hits. Still a ways away before Charge is going to be back up on his morph. But with a, one last right click, it's enough to take down the Enchantress. Very, very close there. Nightfall getting out. It's obviously huge for Bet Boom, but... Are they going to realize what's going on? It seems like it. Drawing the straight line here is pure. He knows exactly what's happening. He has the Octarine Core and his Spirit Breaker. Still needs to really respect the Shadow Demon. Ollie in a very good position right now. Oh, Roche, it's not low enough to jump in. Do they have enough there? Tries to back out, able to get out of the pit for the moment. 23 low, but Jabs, he's already gone. Q is in trouble, going to fall. 23, can he get out? Save is gone, but it's not nearly enough. Talon, they lose three for only one, and Makoto, he's still in trouble. Roche is now low and Bet oh, he got the might be able to vortex. clean this one off as they find Chase and finish Ollie. I mean, it's just devastation in the pit. I love that play from GPK. They have to read that Roche is happening. He's just jumping in first. Almost instant on the initiation to offset the initial, you know, pressure that they were putting with the Storm as well as Spirit Breaker. But the problem was, even though that snowball goes off, probably wait the Aegis out though. It's a minute away. There. I guess you just concede this top tower, to be honest. Like, I like this from Bet Boom a lot as well. Nightfall's alone up here, but since Talon don't have any information to go off aside from like one rogue hero Find showing one. mid. Jump in, Toronto Tokyo, leashed, Sprite tries to get away. Is it going to be enough for the kill? Yes. 23 is under control. They bring him down though. Pure moves in and finishes off the Morphling. Oh, Talon, they lose a couple on that fight and. Just barely managed to take down Toronto Tokyo. He's very farmed, not an easy kill. Jeez. Big. That's why you buy this build. If you go Midas Ags and you're uncontested, well, you got 308 CS, right? It's. He started creating some serious distance to morph because 23 has died twice. So. Oh, in towards mid, though. They find and get a freebie. GPK goes down. Pure now caught in the SD ulti. Do they have a way to stop it? Doesn't quite look like it. So. Getting these types of pickoffs is what you need as Talon. And next, more other variables. Buybacks being the most important. But Roche is going to be claimed down bottom by Betru. Radiant's top tower is under attack. And I wonder if they're going to turn this into an immediate smoke. Opting to get the Aegis here too. Nightfall. I thought they were going to put it on GPK so he could play a super aggressive front. Oh, wait, what? That is a big one. That is a very big kill. Yeah. So, just needs a little bit more gold and not going to get it without winning some of these fights. Now, Pure is Shadow Bladed, runs through, finds him. Manta, dodge, turns into the Spirit Breaker form, has Bulldoze going, heal, but the oh. save comes out. Last second, Tornado lift up onto two, waveform away. 23 living, Ali, not so much. And 23 Savage, get out! Ooh, out of mana. Or no, he actually got it off. Yeah, he had Lincoln's ready again. I guess that's the other thing, is that eventually Morph can turn a PL, too. PL can get a link. Not out of the question for this game, to be honest. I mean... Is it worth it over, say, a Butter? Jump. Oh, find okay. him. Pull back. Snowball save. Onto creeps, onto illusions. Wants to back out. Jabs, throws out the Meteor. Q backs away in his BKB. Tornado to cover. Toronto Tokyo throwing some impetus shots, hitting from far away. Q Walrus Punch is dead. Now the rest of Talon uh -oh. need to find their way out of this Three. fight. Charge through onto two, wants to get on the save, get some waveform through. That's a snipe. That one is hard to deal with. They managed to find a kill, but do they have anything after? Gem still on the deck. Charge. 23 Savage finds him. 
couple more hits. Half HP, Nightfall there, EMP, jabs, needs to back out. BKB chase, do they have anything to kill him? Daphne Blast there for the pushback, but the Hex comes out. Ollie there for the save. Nightfall, he gets caught by the ultimate. Already onto him, trying to take him down. Doppelgamer to walk away. They don't have the damage though, and not another save on deck. 23 Savage is going to fall. Bet boom. It's just easier for them. I was really surprised Talon went for that play. We'll see if they maybe feel the need to try and push this tempo and take to high ground earlier. How much adrenaline do you have? <laughs> I know, right? How the depot's running low. <laughs> they have been playing Dota for a very long time. Yeah. What time do they start? 10 a.m. start. Hex out. Catches Q. GPK. Couple more hits. EKB. Fish punch. The charge is going to be there and does have the snowball waiting for the blink away. Tries to get out, but no such luck. They're drawing the line for the high ground push. There's a couple of ways of going about this. You can go super aggressive. It's a slow, steady burn that's not really doing that much. And honestly, Pure is just on the other side of the map. Nightfall, too strong, too hard to deal with. It's just going to finish off that range racks and they might just go for more. Three Savage still not anything online to really deal with this type of pressure. They have charge at the ready. They have so many different ways to get offensive on Bet Boom. But the slow, steady burn down, they have to go finally. There's the punch, finding the backline. GPK with a cheese against it off. Will it be enough? Barely able to escape. Toronto Tokyo is going to die. Q under fire has buyback. Now 23 Savage on to one. Still waiting with alacrity and everything else. It looks okay. They do have a cold snap, but you just can't go in. The Spear Breaker not showing on the wave. EMP connection. Q ooh, wanted that punch. Can't quite get it. Still, the buildings are falling. I mean, Nightfall can do this. He's just up front and center. 30 seconds left on this Aegis. They need something, anything, but they are not going to get it. A second lane of Rax is going to be claimed. Are they going to get I mean, okay, so here's Okay, the here it is. Divine Rapier. All and in. Okay. 23. 23. He's ready to go. Scan hits. They do see the illusion. Now Makoto baps away. They're still under a smoke. BK jumps forward, finds one. Waveform, how much damage can they take? They absolutely rip through him. That's going to do it. They find and kill 23 Savage. Easy as pie. And Divine Rapier now in the hands of Nightfall. Uh, more than a thousand net worth a minute. All right, eight more minutes, Talon. You can do it. Let's see. Go through. Buybacks abound. And oh my god, are they going to respect the buyback, dude? Oh no, Pure, how are you going to tip them now? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Good craftsmanship needs to be able to handle some pent up frustration. <laughs> I mean, I don't think anybody threw an 80k gold lead. I don't think that's ever happened. Surely it can't happen here. Uh, I don't remember what the record was this tournament. I think it was about 80 or something. Well, Puck is queuing up a rapier too. Might not need it if they can get the pick off onto PL. Just makes him stronger. Pure, found, wall, wrist punch, control, down to about two thirds HP. GPK goes through, trying to take down Q. He's still surviving. Well, not anymore. 23 Savage slept, waveform back. Buy back from another. So they did get the kill onto the Spirit Breaker. And that gave them a lot of gold, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that was 3,000 gold <laughs> spread across multiple heroes with the pure kill. Another 20 of those, boys. Wait, and he bought it. Huck got the rapier off of that. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait, um, are you telling me there's a chance? The Hex, the Bash, the Control, the Walrus Punch, the Stun. Where's the damage, though? Where's the Puck? They don't quite have it. He's not going to be able to quite do enough. Makoto goes down. That is the buyback. 23 Savage hoping, hoping for anything, but there is nothing left. Bet Boom has taken it all. GG is called. Cinder, and you are right. The 54 minutes stop. It can't be stopped. <laughs> yeah. An 80k lead to finish it off for Bet Boom. I mean, in reality, when you look back at this game, the last 35, 40 minutes, Talon just couldn't find anything on the map, right? All their lanes are pushed in all the time. Every time they try to make a move, Bet Boom are ready. They're counterplaying them. They're out farming them. They're getting the Roches. And, you know, ultimately, it's 
for Talon, the, the game you got to look at here is obviously this is a, a shame to go out on a game like this. You know, you had two marathons, and the second game was definitely within their reach. Oh, very much favored, right? The regret of those late game buybacks in game number two that put you in this position to begin with and just cannot cannot finish it off. But Bet Boom has got to be so relieved. They fought tooth and nail in that second game to even get this chance to show this lineup. Absolutely. And, and now they did it. The un unbelievable performance. This, to me, feels like one of those team transforming experiences for Bet Boom. You know, if they make some type of a run here, I feel like this might be one of those games, one of those series that you look back on and see that's where it began. We'll see if it ends up happening for them indeed. For Talon, this is where it's going to end.